of that. Hold on, we gotta do a, uh, the... Do it, baby. Hey guys, hopefully had a good time. Revin, sit on the That's how fast it gets on a flat bed. So, uh, 76 Tidal T is gone. What's up everyone, welcome back to Miami Miles. My name's Mickey, I've been receiving a lot of questions in my comment section. Why are you buying so many Porsches? Why don't you have a supercar? You used to have McLarens, what happened? Well in short, I was banned from McLaren when I sold my 765 LT. Now I thought I was banned because I sold it too early, but it turns out I did everything right to get that car sold. I was honest with the dealer, they opted not to take the car in on trade and now guys i'm stuck in this situation where i can never order a mclaren from factory new that's right not even an artura who the f wants an artura well i can't get one of those nor anything else and in this video i'm going to share with you exactly what happened so let's get right into it oh. that shot looks good doesn't it that's why I've partnered with Faster Media, the company that does all the storytelling here on my channel, from the editing, to the content posts, to the strategy to post to Instagram, TikTok, and all other social media platforms. Faster Media has curated a strategy for me that has allowed me to grow. And now for the very first time, they're offering the same services for companies and people looking to grow their social media. Presence. I've put a link down below where you could register your information, reach out to them for a free consultation so that they can design a plan just for you. If you want beautiful content like this, content like the one you guys have seen with my 765, with my GT3, or if you're a realtor, a lawyer, some service provider that wants to break out of obscurity on social, Faster can help your business right now. Click the link down below put in your information, and Faster Media will reach out to you. Now, don't take all of this at my word. Take it from the proof. Just one year ago, I had a couple hundred subscribers on YouTube. I had a couple hundred followers on Instagram and TikTok, and I thought to myself, how can I blow this up? That's when I hired Faster Media, and the results have spoken for themselves. So, if you're interested in a service that will do this for you, click the link down below. Anyways, guys, back to the video. So I'm banned from McLaren, but I still got the 4RS, 9,000. that car. 
car that I did. But five months into the ownership experience, I kept asking myself, where does this go? Remember guys, I make content on YouTube. I had just done everything with the car. The only things that were left to do were to straight pipe it and make it shoot huge flames and I opted to not go down that route. Also, I saw that the market was turning and that these cars wouldn't be worth 650 to $700,000 for that much longer. Now you'll see some listed on Auto Trader, but I'm gonna tell you right now what the wholesale is as of when I sold my car. So anyways, I make the decision to sell the car. And being the honest person that I am, the first people I called was the dealership. I tell the dealership, guys, I'm looking to sell my car. I want to take my funds out, wait for the market to drop, do something else with the money, and perhaps get back into another model in the future. They were in agreement. But the only thing they offered me was sticker. They offered me sticker $451,000 for a car that at the time was worth $650,000 to $700,000. Now, that rubbed me a little bit the wrong way because I wasn't asking to take the full profit. I would have been more than happy for them to take all of the money and give me a little bit. So I said, guys, I'll take in the lower 500s for the car. So I, I, they, they promised me, Mickey, we'll give you a phone call on Monday and make you an offer and we'll get this deal done. So great, I thought I had a deal done. Well, guess what? They never called me. They never called me to make me an offer. It's like they dropped the ball and I was stuck with the car and now I had no ability to sell it back to the dealership so I opted to put it on bring a trailer. Now I think this was a mistake in retrospect. In hindsight, I wish I wouldn't have put it on bring a trailer because when I listed it, I put in the listing that the car had down pipes with catalytic converters and this caused a series of events that not only cost me a bunch of money but got me banned. So anyways, listing goes up. It was a roller coaster of emotions and inevitably the car sells to a guy named Luke Me from California for $550,000. Now this guy, he's got every McLaren you could ever think of. He's a McLaren collector and he just wanted the Spider because he did not order one from new. So the day after the, the conclusion of the auction, he reaches out to his service manager at his dealership and goes, yo, run this VIN for me and tell me if there's anything wrong with the car. Well, they put the VIN number in and an alert comes up saying that the car had limited powertrain warranty because of the downpipes. So somebody in that auction took the link to the auction, sent it to McLaren, they copied the text and in short voided my warranty. Within a couple hours, Luke me backs out of the deal and now I'm stuck with a car that potentially has no warranty and could cost me upwards of $100,000 to fix. So I'm like, what do I do? I start reaching out to everybody and inevitably I find Cario. Uh, it's a dealership down here in South Florida that wanted the car so he could enjoy it himself. And we strike a deal at $525,000. So within 24 hours, I lost 25 grand. A couple days later, they come pick up the car. And um, at that point, I'm like, all right, the saga is over. The check has cleared the bank. We're good to go. Uh, eventually, I realized that McLaren was going to make the replacement to the 720S, the 755, or whatever it's going to be called. I'm sure you guys have seen it at this point. Because I'm not a McLaren customer, I've got no idea. But I reach out to my dealership and say, guys, I'd love to have an allocation. And I get a response from them saying, Mickey, you've been banned. You can't order this car, the Artura, and more than likely anything else. Now, I figured it's because I sold the car within a year of ownership. But I wasn't sure, so I said, you know what? I'm not gonna make a video, I'm not gonna make a big show of this. And it wasn't until I talked to the dealer again that I realized that they didn't ban me because I sold the car early. They didn't ban me because of the downpipes. They banned me because of this channel. They have some asshole in a room on his computer looking through people's content to see what aligns with their brand. What the f I absolutely pushed this car on everybody. And I know personally of three 765 LT Spider allocations that were made because of my videos. I have been good for business, but I think I made a couple videos that were controversial. The first one being the video where I blew through a tank of gas in 50 miles in the car. And the second one being the video where I said the goodbye, where I said I loved the car, but it was time for it to go because I wanted to take that money to use it for other things. So. Someone at McLaren North America saw my thumbnail, not even clicked into the video to watch the content, said, fan for life. So right now, from where I'm sitting, I can't order an Artura, I can't order the 755 or whatever it's gonna be called, and I probably won't be able to order any other McLaren ever again, and that pains me. Because to be honest, McLaren has been my favorite supercar brand. I can't
can't say it's my favorite over Porsche because I don't think that's true. I think I would rather live without a McLaren than without a Porsche, but it's the best supercar, the fastest supercar, the rawest supercar. LT cars are so good and now I can't have any more of them. And that makes me sad, but hopefully you guys can take something productive and positive from my experience. If you get one of these cars, try to be as reasonable and as conservative as possible when it comes to making content with the car. Don't do anything crazy. Don't tune it to make it shoot huge flames because if somebody at McLaren North America sees it, they'll ban you for life. And it's as simple as that. They'll alienate a great customer that's willing to spend millions that will go to another brand just like Porsche and spend the same amount of money. The dumbest thing in the world. All of this could have been avoided if they would have picked up the phone, called me and said, Mickey, please make those videos private or please remove them, take them down. I would have done that happily because I love the brand so much. I'm okay with playing by the rules. But anyways, guys, I'm banned from McLaren. That's the story. If you enjoyed this type of video where I go on a little drive and show you guys kind of my experience and journey in owning these different cars go down below give me a comment like the video subscribe to the channel and i look forward to seeing you guys next video take care